this event is celebrating 25 years of Volcano Safaris. Good evening, everybody. We're all very happy to see you here tonight. Thank you very much for coming to this, I hope, amazing evening. It just has a very small title and a small question that all of you help us have to help us solve. And that is the future of the gorillas and chimpanzees in the Albertine Rift, 2022 to 2050. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Francis. And uh, let me take this opportunity uh, to welcome you to this event, which is about mountain gorillas and the chimpanzees in the Albertine Rift. So my name is Emmanuel Ruhumaliza, and I am the Partnership Manager for Visit Rwanda. And I am truly honoured uh, to be here with you. It's great that we're talking about the future of the gorillas and chimps. They're very closely related to us, and we can easily make each other sick. We share over 98% genetic material with both the gorillas and chimpanzees. So in Uganda, which is in the Albertine Rift, we have roughly four to 5,000 chimpanzees. Most of them live in protected habitats, but as Peter pointed out, there are several living in unprotected fragment forests uh, spread out around the country. We're the only organization that's providing hands-on direct veterinary care for mountain gorillas and growers gorillas in the three countries where they range, Rwanda, Uganda, and Congo. Our teams in those three countries are Rwandese, Congolese, and Ugandan. I'm here on their behalf. They're my heroes. I'm part of a new initiative called Rebalance Earth. It's not the Earth itself that needs rebalancing. It's fine. Big ball of rocks spinning around. It'll keep going for millions of years. But our relationship with the Earth needs rebalancing. Our colleagues and researchers and partners in these organizations are what keep these animals alive. So I'd like to thank all of them. I'd like to thank the panel for all that they do. I can see how I can take some of the things that were said this evening and I can take them to some of our projects. I'm from the African Wildlife Foundation, so uh, I've got a real keen interest in obviously great ape conservation. So I work with Fauna and Flora International. We also work with mountain gorillas um, through the International Gorilla Conservation Programme and um, yeah, have had huge support from uh, Volcano Safaris um, and look forward to lots of collaboration in the future. Well, first of all, it's wonderful that you had uh, somebody like Lord Hunt uh, here, who is an ardent supporter of Uganda, even the time when Ugandans or Asians were expelled. And now we're looking at making sure that gorillas are protected. So you protected Ugandan humans, and we're now protecting the gorillas. And it's wonderful what the water volcanoes do, and all the speakers who did so well. Kiambura Gorge has a small community of chimpanzees, isolated by fragmentation of the original forest. The Jane Goodall Institute is delighted to work with the Kiambura Gorge Ecosystem Project to develop community-led conservation. I think it was a wonderful evening. And the reason was that we celebrated our 25th anniversary. But secondly, we were able to acknowledge and honor all our partners over the years. And that's wonderful, you know, it's our conservation partners, it's the governments, it's the protected area authorities, the national park people. We all work together and that's what makes this a success. It was wonderful that they were here.